Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. So now we move to chapter 2, life table. What is a life table? A life table is a concise way of showing the probabilities of a member of a particular population living to or dying at a particular age. A life table also called as a mortality table or actuarial table. It's a table which shows for each age what the probability is that a person that age will die before his or her next birthday. In life table, we have probability of death and probability of survive for each age from 0 to 100. In other words, it represents the survivorship of people from a certain population. So different population have different life table. Life table is influenced by the lifestyle of the population. A published life table usually contains tabulations by individual each of the basic function. X is for each. QX or Actually, one in front here, LX is the expected number of survivors to HX. It is number of survivors. LX is not the probability. On the other hand, DX is the number of death between HX to X plus 1. So in one year, dx. Actually one in front, so we delete one. And dx is number of death between hx to x plus n. So this is for n, for n years. So the notation is n dx. And last one is L, L0 as the starting number of survivors. Now we go to life table notation. Now we go to the first equation. Lx is equal to Lx plus 1 plus dx. So Lx, number of survivors at Hx. Lx plus 1, number of survivors at Hx plus 1. So the difference between x to x plus 1 is number of death from x to x plus 1. So Lx is equal to dx plus Lx plus 1. We also can find dx equal to Lx minus Lx plus 1 because dx is the difference between Lx and Lx plus 1. And dx from x to x plus n same concept as x to x plus 1. So n dx is equal to lx minus lx plus n. For example, d25 until 15 years. x equal to 25. So meaning that from age 25 until 39. So the summation of death people from age 25 until age 39. So we can use number of survivors at age 25 minus age 40. This is Lx minus Lx plus n. Second 
one. NPX, the probability that an individual age X will survive to age X plus N. In last chapter, we use SX, the survival function. SX plus N over SX is equal to LX plus N over LX. So LX plus N over LX is the multiplication from LX plus 1 over LX until LX plus N over LX plus N minus 1. We also can write down in terms of TPX. So PX times PX plus 1 times Px plus 2 until Px plus n minus 1. For example, 10 Px. So 10 Px is equal to Lx plus 10 over Lx. Another one, let's say T equal to 5 and X is equal to 15. So FP15 is LX plus T, 15 plus 5 over L15. So we get L20 over L15. Now we go to another notation, QX. So meaning that in one, one year. The probability that an individual age X will die before attain age X plus 1. So from X to X plus 1, the probability of death. So QX and QX is the complementary function. So QX is equal to 1 minus PX. Then we can change Px in terms of Lx. So Px is equal to Lx plus 1 minus Lx. And finally, we get Lx minus Lx plus 1 over Lx. For n years, x to x plus n NQX equal to 1 minus NPX. So NPX we can rewrite in terms of life table and we get LX plus N over LX. And finally we get LX minus LX plus N over LX. Is equal to NDX. So we also can write down NQX is equal to NDX over LX. This is the conditional probability where X to X plus N, this individual is survive. So we are looking for the probability from X to X plus N to x plus n plus m. So in terms of life table, we can change it into dx plus n to m from here to here and over lx. So the lx must follow the current age, dx. We also can write down dx in terms of lx. We expand this equation and we get this one. And finally, we get npx times mqx plus n. The example shows you this example shows you in terms of values 
when we plug in the H and N. XP0 is equal to probability of survival to HX for a newborn. Newborn, X is equal to 0. So this is the probability of survive from newborn to X to HX. XPO is equal to LX over L0. So the denominator is referring to the current age. Example 1. Given the following items from a certain table of mortality, deduce their corresponding values for DX, QX, and PX. So this is the extract of life table. We have LX, DX, QX, and PX. So the first row shows the H from 80 to 86. So LX is number of survivors. 1000 is the number of survivors at each 80 until 0 is the number of survivors at each 86. DX is equal to LX minus LX plus 1. So D80 is equal to L80 minus L81. So 1000 minus 800. So we get 200 people die at age 80. D81. 800 minus 650. From the value of dx and lx, we can find qx. So qx is equal to dx over lx. So q80 is 200 divided by 1000. So Px is 1 minus Qx. Based on the table above, Calculate A, the probability that a person age 81 will survive until age 85. So, probability of survive is P from age 81 to 85 is 4 years. So, T equal to 4. So, LX plus T over LX. If you want to calculate in terms of probability, It is P81 times P82 times P83 times P84. The tips here is when T is equal to 4, there must be 4 components here. And start with the X.
Second one, the probability that a person age 80 will die before a teen age 84. So this is probability for death from age 80 to age 84. So death is Q. X is 80 and T is 4 years. C. The probability that a person age 80 will survive until age 82 and die before age 85. The denominator is always at the current age. So we plug in the values from the table. And we get 0 0.55. Or we also can use dx. And dx over lx. So d82 plus 0.55. 